Hey, what's up guys, SolidDubs here, and today I'm doing a video review for the SteelSeries Rival 100 Optical Gaming Mouse. Now this mouse can be found for around £27 on Amazon.co.uk and around $40 on Amazon USA. Links will be down in the description below, alongside a full written review on my website, so do check that out in case you're interested. Now what do you get inside the box? Well, it's very simple, you get the mouse. That's about it. <laughs> now the mouse itself... Um, let's talk about the build quality. So the mouse itself is non-braided, it just comes with a normal standard cable which is terminated by a USB. Underneath the mouse you've got these little pads which obviously can be replaced over time uh, and there's nothing else included so you don't get any custom weight. At the top of the mouse you've got one button over here and you've got a scroll wheel and a button itself with the two standard buttons on left and right. And on the left hand side of the mouse you've got um, the well two extra buttons that you can use. So in terms of using it, it's very much uh, a custom for right-handed users, but left-handed users can still use the mouse as it is very much um, symmetric. There is no buttons on the right-hand side of the mouse, so do bear that in mind in case you're a left-handed uh, person. Now there's a light over here which can be fully customized via the software, which I'll show you in a second. And on top of that, it also has GameSense included within the mouse, which means that when you launch certain games like Dota 2 or CSGO, for example, the mouse will pick up certain set uh, settings of the game and be able to um, recognize certain things like ammo or health or whatever it might be, and actually display them via the colors of this um, little SteelSeries logo over here. Now let's just talk, quickly talk about the ergonomics. Now the ergonomics of the mouse is very flat and it's a reasonably long mouse but it's quite flat meaning that in terms of using it you're going to really be, have to be a claw gripper. A claw gripper is someone who literally uses the mouse like this and there are certain people that use it like that especially people who use um, people who are going to be playing games like Dota 2 or League of Legends or Starcraft they're going to be more claw grippers. That's just general but Generally, I found that people who are those type of gamers only use claw, claw gripping just because you need to click really quick rather than move really fast. Now, FPS gamers will be more of a normal standard grip, and unfortunately for those gamers like myself, I found the mouse to be kind of uncomfortable just because of its ergonomics. As it's quite flat, my uh, my pinky on the side make, made it that I was um, kind of pressing against the mouse uh, because the ergonomics were just really flat. So anyway, if you're a claw gripper this will be fantastic for you, if not you might find it a little bit odd to use. Now in terms of the build quality and its finish, it's got a nice little matte black uh, matte finish to it. Um, it can be found in all different colours so I'm not going to go into them because I've got just a normal black version of it. But uh, anyway, the mouse itself um, looks good and it's not a fingerprint magnet which is always a plus. Now what about its performance? Now the mouse itself comes with a SDNS 3059 SS custom sensor made by Pixart. Now Pixart are a maker of many different sensors in different mice and they've chosen to team up with SteelSeries to make this actual mouse itself. Now it's built upon the SDNS 3050 which isn't really well respected on the internet when it comes to using it at high DPI. And the reason behind that is because you start getting a bit of jittering and in inaccuracies with the 3050. Uh, However, with the 3059 SS, I really didn't find those sort of problems to occur. No matter how, how I tested, I always found that the there was zero, well not zero, but there was very little jittering and there was no sort of noticeable problems, especially when I was gaming. Speaking about gaming, I'm just going to launch up um, CSGO and actually show you me using the mouse um, whilst um, in CSGO. I'm just going to go and shoot. So. As it's got GameSense activated, I've got it on ammo, and basically when I shoot, as you can see, the, uh, the mouse is fading. That is just a little feature of GameSense, and now it's fully reloaded, the mouse comes back alive. Now let me just zoom out and just show you how this actually looks like. So you can see CSGO running there and the mouse on your bottom right of the screen, and you can see me just basically using it, and I'm just going to do that, and you can see as I'm shooting, the colours go down. So the game sense activation works flawlessly, at least for CSGO, and I was impressed about it. But again, what about its performance? Now its performance actually really surprised me. Now despite me not being really comfortable using the mouse, I must say its performance was very good, especially considering its price. The accuracy of the mouse is what really surprised me. Because normally with sensors about this price range are kind of inaccurate, and on top of that have lots of acceleration and deceleration. 
In this case, I found that this um, 3059 SS sensor didn't have that acceleration or deceleration problems that I normally encounter with mice in its price range. On top of that, I found it very accurate to snap to, say for example to snap to someone's head, um, and in terms of its accuracy when it came to actually um, uh, actually, it's like using spray control or even just moving around. So overall, I was very much impressed with the actual mouse's performance and considering its price range, I must say I'm very, very surprised at how well this um, Rival 100 mouse actually does. So it's personally not a mouse I would use because of its form factor, but because of its performance at its price range, it's something I could see myself getting adopted to and actually um, getting used to. Now let's quickly go on to its software, which is something that also is always a highlight of SteelSeries products nowadays because the SteelSeries um, uh, Engine 3 does really work very flawlessly. Now I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see. As you can see, you've got GameSense over here and you can see I've got it on ammo. You've got all different types of settings you can use and as I said, you can use it on Dota 2 and you can also use it on a game called Minecraft, which a lot of people know. Now the actual mouse itself can be customized in all different ways. Uh, as you can see, you've got um, all different levels of DPI which are adjusted, as you can see, by um, two, well, usually 250 increments. You've got 250, 500, 1000, 1250, 1500, 1750, 2000, and then a massive 4000, which is a massive jump. Now, again, as I said, when I was testing it all different um, uh, DPIs, I didn't notice any problems. Via the software, you can also adjust its acceleration deceleration, which you can see I've got it on zero completely, but you can see you can adjust it as you so wish. You can uh, adjust the angle snapping as well, and you can adjust the polling rate, which I've set to 1000. Also, the buttons, you can see you can customize all of the buttons uh, which you can click, uh, and that's really good because I had three button uh, that I were, that I was using on CS:GO, three, one, and R, which I was using at the top, and the two side buttons over here. The buttons and everything can be customized to your heart's content, basically, and you can even set up macros if you so wish. In terms of the LEDs, you can also customize that, which is always a plus, and you can change it to whatever you so wish, including color shift, which is kind of cool to look at. So overall, the software really works well and uh, really much complements uh, the mouse's functionalities. So overall, what do I think of the mouse? Well. Considering its price range at £27 and even then its performance, I was very much impressed with the Rival 100. It was very, very impressive in terms of gaming. It was a, um, a nice mouse to look at considering its full RGB colors. Um, and on top of that, it wasn't a fingerprint magnet. And just to top it off, it had three buttons that I could fully customize. What's not to love about it? And considering that left hand users can use it, well, it's a win for me. It's a great mouse that's developed by SteelSeries, and the rival is basically a really well respected um, a mouse in the community and by gamers. And the rival 100 just takes it a little step beyond and adds a slightly better sensor, which to me, was really good when gaming on CSGO, which is quite an intensive game, uh, especially competitively, that you're going to need a really good mouse uh, in order for you to be a basically MLG Pro. <laughs> anyway, long story short guys, the Rival 100 is a great mouse and I do suggest it, especially at its price range. It's very much affordable for all different types of people and left-handed and right-handed users can use it, so that's a win-win. Alright guys, well I've been totally dubbed, hopefully you've enjoyed this review, make sure you like, comment and subscribe uh, the, the review, and more than anything, favourite and share as it always helps. Definitely let me know uh, your comments below of what you think of the mouse or if you own it yourself, always um, open to listening, and definitely as I said, check out the links in the description below in case you're interested in buying it, and more so in, if you're interested in reading about the mouse on my website. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed, take care, bye bye.